Hey guys, what is going on? Booster Kings here with another Pokemon video, and in today's video, we have five of these Korean Roaring Skies booster packs. It is going to be really awesome. If you wouldn't mind dropping a like down below, that would be really, really appreciated. Let's get this video up to 500 massive likes. That would be so amazing. I can't actually believe it. And comment, leave a comment down in the comment section below of your thoughts about Korean booster packs. I find them really, really cool. They like... I don't know, there's only five packs, they just remind me of Japanese ones, and they're quite cheap, so they, they're really good for like a collector who doesn't want to pay a lot of money, and or just like someone who has the urge to open up Pokemon cards, like myself. But yeah, let's get straight into it, I don't want this video dragging on for too long. But yeah, our first card is a Fletchender, Bagon, a Wingo, and an Altari, oh no, and a Revive. So there's only five cards in a pack, I think, yep, five cards. And you get some rares and whatnot in different packs. It's very strange. If you guys haven't seen my other Korean booster box, I think that is coming out tomorrow. So make sure to leave or make sure to keep an eye out for that. But yeah, there is a Spiro, Fletchender, Natu. <laughs> oh god. A Zapdos and a Dragonite Hollow. So that is really awesome. Check that one out. A Dragonite Ancient Trait Hollow. We'll put that one over there. And the Zapdos would have been a rare, but that is very strange that it's not. Definitely, definitely, Korean packs are strange. Oh, alrighty, let me let me crack into this one. And make sure to head over to my Twitter, um, and make sure to follow me over there. It'd be really awesome, really much appreciated over there. Yeah, let's focus this one in. We have an Executor, Togepi, a Dustox, which should be a rare, a Double Dragon Energy, and a Togekiss, which should be a rare as well, but it's actually an uncommon in this set. So we've got two left. They all have the same artworks on them, just because I think that's what Roaring Skies and um, all of the, or that's what um, all of the Japanese sets do. They just have the same artworks, but that's all right. We have a Wormpool, a Firo, a Dratini, a Winona, and a Shell Shellgon that flew away. Just a Shellgon, rare or ra not even a rare, just an uncommon. And our last pack, but not the last pack of Roaring Skies. We definitely have more. Make sure to leave in the comment section below your thoughts about Korean packs, as I was saying just before, and let me know what you guys, if you guys have ever opened up these sorts of packs. They're really awesome. We have a Dratini, Executor, a Togepi, Banette, which should be a rare, and an Articuno, which is the rare, but isn't the rare. <laughs> Very strange. But yeah, we did end up with the actual only rare, rare, in the opening but yeah that was five pokemon korean roaring skies booster packs if you guys did enjoy make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more pokemon videos but this was a monday upload so hopefully you guys did enjoy and we will see you all in the next video peace out guys